Welcome to the finale of Koyomi Monogatari. I am super excited for this one. I won't say why, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. You guys know what to do. Open up your own copy of the episode and sing it over the time that's gonna appear within Kiwi's hands at the end of my countdown. I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one, play. I would love so hard if the opening took Koi plays. Koyomi nothing. Nothing. Kaganoi! Oh. Yahoo! <laughs> You're beating Yahoo. them up! Why is it that me? <laughs> <laughs> You're acting like Silver right now, Zero. Like she hopped around mid with a gun bed tin for a moment from the eccentric family. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think that's true. Every single time you say I Ben like 10, I think of a very different Ben 10. I, I know, that's all I had to specify. <laughs> <laughs> it's on my fault, her name is Ben 10. <laughs> I think that the Ben 10 that from the eccentric family is much, much hotter than the Ben 10 that you're thinking of, Zero. <laughs> I'm not going to debate you on that. <laughs> We're just going to move on. I think this should be after what happened in Suki. When he figured out that his, using his vampire powers would lead to him becoming a vampire. Hmm. Quite the revelation. <laughs> <laughs> Peace, peace. Peace, peace. Oh. Her ex accent, or like, <laughs> what would you call it? Dialect sounds kind of weird this episode. It's been the same the entire series. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. That's why I'm like questioning myself why I find it weird this episode when it's been the same this whole time. <laughs> if anybody knows if she's speaking in a particular dialect, then let us know in the comments. I. I might have seen this before, read it before, I I wouldn't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure she speaks in a Kansai dialect. I don't know dialects nearly enough to have any sort yeah, of Yeah, I'm not gonna... Don't, oh! <laughs> 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 oh, ouch, me too, bro. Oops. I mean, even if I wasn't out like how far I'd make the advance, but you know. Probably fail. <laughs> we need more Kaganui fan art. <laughs> Kaganui. I think she just calls everybody that. Yeah. That's kind of how we do it here in Thailand, too. We're just all a big family. We call each other elder and younger. <laughs> If we were in Thailand, Zero and Sevi would be my big brother and big sister.
Ooh. Challenge accepted. Mm hmm. <laughs> what thing? That would be so gross. Ew. Wait. <laughs> Are we sure about this? No! Uh, the, the implications just make the scene grosser! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious! Big brain, Aragi. <laughs> Poor Yotsugi. <laughs> So you have to find some sort of way to just land a blow. <laughs> Gentle refusal. <laughs> Brain blast! <laughs> <laughs> this is what yeah. Yotsuki has to endure on a daily basis. It's a key is Donkey Mankura. Wait, are we not supposed to do this? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I guess that'll work. Like, it doesn't really matter what kind of projectile it shoots, right? As long as it hits her. <laughs> It was kind of hoping that he would use Shinobu as somebody to fight for him. <laughs> Why did you test it out on her? The hell no. That gun is so out of place in this universe. <laughs> it looks awesome. I would take it. Honestly, though, a real gun would be more out of place. <laughs> Any weapon would be out of place. Not a katana. Giant. <laughs> a no, giant katana. katana. 
<laughs> to be continued. Mm -mm -mm. The first to be continued and we experienced in Koyomi Monogatari. This is the reason why a lot of people recommend watching this in sets of two. Oh, I was going to... I found it... Never mm -hmm. mind. <laughs> you can't finish a thought. <laughs> no, I can finish the thought, but if I finish it, it would be mean, and you told me to be careful of that stuff, so I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it would be mean? What? Who are you being mean to? <laughs> yeah, I'm a... I will hurt its feelings, and I can't do such a thing. Oh my god. I'm an empath. <laughs> Kiwi, you're a reactor. What is your opinion about the show? <laughs> well, I was just about to say that I find it incredibly dumb that it's split into episodes and not just one really big one. That's... Oh, I made make it any softer. Sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? It makes no sense. This is eight minutes long. If they just put it together, it would be longer. And well, that would change how it, it airs. That would, yeah. That it's changed so many things, Q. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, then. Oh, why would it's a 30 a... minute show have it to be continued when they could just make an hour long episode? Yeah. Why, why don't we make a, a 24 hour long episode? Have the entire season <laughs> there, both season two and season three. Yeah. Any thoughts on said episode? It was pretty much nothing. Nothing really happened. I mean, Kaguya disappeared. Hachikuji's yeah, Kaguya is gone. To take her. Is Hachikuji now a vengeful spirit? It's a kidnapper, Hachikuji. From a kid to a kidnapper, the evolution. <laughs> we got time and place and characters who are gone. No real actual solution happened here, even though Aragi got this awesome donut gun from Shinobu. I wish that they used this more. Like, he just randomly whips out a donut gun when he faces off against Kaiki next time. That would be, that would be pretty epic, but yeah, yeah I, I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> Regardless, it's a two-parter, so we might as well move on to the next episode. I am going to start episode 12 in 3, 2, one play. Koyomi dead. Oh, rip. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a, such an emotional reaction. God. <laughs> Calm down, Servi. <laughs> I mean, you expect us to have an emotional reaction to a guy that talked about touching his sister's boobs just last episode? I mean, it's your unique reaction, that's for sure. <laughs> Literally everybody else I watch it, but they're like, Huh? What, what happened to Haragi? <laughs> no! No! Because like, I usually just say rip if it's like, oh, well, shoot. <laughs> but I did, it just lined up a little too well because it says he's dead. <laughs> and then I realized when I said it, um. <laughs> I just recently found out that it's not normal to like react to really bad news with oof. So I've been keeping myself up saying it. <laughs> I say oof. Too. Uh, you guys are weird. So disrespectful. It, there's way worse things I could have said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like there's neutral. <laughs> there's way worse things that anybody can say in any social situation. That doesn't <laughs> change the fact that that's probably not your response that you should have. I could be doing <laughs> drugs, Nero. <laughs> Why did you mention that in a YouTube video? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> take it to extremes right guy and senpai i'm so sus of guy and i don't know sus if she's good or bad of Ogi. Mm -hmm. i feel more comfortable when guy is on screen than when ogi is on screen to be honest nah i am equally sus of them both I just like Ogi more. <laughs> but 
But something this is obviously very music wrong that here. Plays, yeah, when good things happen. <laughs> oh shit! He entered what? the red zone. <laughs> oh god. Senzogaro's dead, back at it again. <laughs> Oh, she's going to meet Kaiki. No, wait. <laughs> I'm stupid. They literally said at the start of the episode yeah. they were going to meet up with each other. Oh. Wait. I'm not stupid. I remember correctly. Never mind. I'm. Today's a bad day. Today's a very bad day. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I mean, she needs her beauty sleep, too. Oh. This episode. <laughs> yeah. Just bandaged off his head. <laughs> It's the meme, man. Man. Oh no! Come back! <laughs> oh well, hello there. That's his mom, right? No, that is Mama Ragi. I've only seen her once. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, Nanako isn't there anymore. <laughs> no, she's got such short hair. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just stalemate. Being outside the law. She just admitted she didn't know something. Hmm. Your whole life is a move, Koyomi. <laughs> <laughs> Mm 
well, true, yes. <laughs> it's just an indefinite draw. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. I told you, giant oversized katana. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny that you mentioned it. Um, I called yeah. that shit. The one sword that she mentioned actually shows up again. Wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> oh, but what the fuck is then the Uraragi that talks to Kanbaru in, Ko in what is it called? Hana. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that call is not going through. Is he going to be like number one and just collect around Senju Gohan well, until he's born again? That's a hell of a way to end a series. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like all, he's Araragi. all of Koyomi is just like, oh, cute story between the characters. I love this. And then finale, <laughs> oh, main character dies. Oh. <laughs> you can actually oh, see Araragi dying here in the ED. Yeah. Oh. And I actually I was, noticed that, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was about to be like, oh, maybe Araragi just doesn't like actually die. Maybe he mm -hmm. just dies to the outside world, but he's actually alive and being hidden by Gaian so he can do her little biddings on the side. Hmm. Well, we do have cases of, like, unreliable narrators, right? So, yeah, anything also, could like, uh, actually definition. be going on. Like, if and he I became mean, a full is... vampire, would that not be dead? Hmm. And I, I mean, also, this, this story is being narrated by Araragi, so... Yep. He's got to be alive to be able to narrate it. <laughs> I mean, it ended when he died. So I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think my internet died for a second there. <laughs> Just like Aradagi. Yeah. My internet is Aradagi <laughs> confirmed. Punchline. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna chill with Nadeko in her tree. Oh, that's weird. I don't I, like that. I will <laughs> sing. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's like life to the ring when I ring the eyes. <laughs> Oh, it's a girl. girl. <laughs> 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 I missed you, Ajikuchi. <laughs> oh man well we reintroduce Hajikuchi into the story not 
by bringing her back to life. <laughs> but, but by killing Araraki makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that conversation that we had uh, when we lost Hajikuji and you were like, yeah, I'm sad, but it would be better if they didn't bring Hajikuji back or else it would cheapen everything. Yeah, uh, I, was I was thinking of this. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this doesn't cheapen it, this betters it, okay? They I mean, yeah. it's back, a good but way. Said, if you're going to reintroduce a character that you've killed, that's... I feel like this is a decent way. I do kind of still feel like it cheapens that moment, but I would prefer this to most other solutions that you would see usually. <laughs> <laughs> usually they bring the character back to life by necromancy or some kind of bull poopy. <laughs> No, but they never this... actually died. <laughs> no. Yeah. But this is like, she's still dead. She's just back for like this one moment is like to help Araraki out like she did in the first season and the second season and the third season. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is where we go back into theorizing mode from Mungitari. Because we're going back into the meat and potatoes of everything. The whole Gaian and Ogi situation. The meat and the potatoes. Yeah. Can I just have the potatoes? No. You gotta have the meat too. Because there is that other side that is there. Whenever Aragi makes a move, they also make a move. So it's just an indefinite draw. If Aragi does something, he will lose. <laughs> if the other side does something, they will lose, so apparently this is what Gain came up with. Why do you think Gain came to this conclusion and what is she trying to achieve? I mean, she's definitely trying to make the other side to make a move. Since they did say that they were moving like simultaneously. Simultaneously. Simultaneous. I can't say it simultaneously as Araki. <laughs> so they're like trying to kind of make them make a move since like the person that's basically a thorn in their, their side is finally like gone. Mm. I think that the. I forgot his name. The guy that was voiced by Dio. And uh, I believe it was at the end of the Tadatsuru? second season. Yeah. I believe he was saying this, uh, the same thing that uh, Gaian was saying, but in a little bit of a different way. Yeah, he described it as like being a, an actor on a stage. He was cast yeah. into a certain role to play by that person. Who do you think that person is <laughs> that they're referring to? Arara, he has been Ararag. Araragi's mom has been the mastermind of this whole world this whole time, and we didn't know. <laughs> that's why <laughs> that's they showed her there, carry. yeah. Yeah, that's why she could carry a phoenix. <laughs> okay, while well, Serbi's thinking of it, I'm going to stop trying to find out which one of the two girls from Gaian and Ogi is the good guy and think of them both as a bad guy. <laughs> That's what I said. I said I trust neither of them. <laughs> I mean, I never said I trusted any of them. I was just... I, I forgot what I said. Gaian's whole thing is interesting because she claims to know everything. Clearly she doesn't. So yep. it's kind of that weird, I guess, persona that she's putting on to try and present to people. But I don't know why or if there is even a reason. For characters like that, there's always the possibility that they're feigning ignorance in order to achieve a certain goal that they know would happen if they say something. True. But I think I believe her when she says she doesn't know women. This would also kind of coincide with how she also remarked that she just cannot tell what Araragi is going to do because mm. Araragi always destroys her plans. Because she can't read Meme and Meme is future Araragi. Oh my god. <laughs> I think more actually if I'm to make like a serious hypothesis. Meme is setting up Araragi to basically be his like predecessor if you will. Yeah. To kind of follow in yeah. his footsteps. So the mm. same reason why you couldn't like track Meme or follow Meme's movements the reason he's kind of placed outside of the game if you will is yeah. the same reason Otterdog is kind of taking into that space of can't can't understand what he's gonna do can't reason his movements because Otterdog was introduced to this world around Meme like Meme helped him first kind of escape his fate I guess if you will of becoming an aberration and has been that guide throughout all of Bakke until he disappeared I think something that supports like Meme trying to make Araragi into someone befitting of his role was the fact mm -hmm. that he taught everything to Shinobu and then left Shinobu with Araragi. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Oh, my voice. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with the mediator. 
uh, theory. Anuragi has always been the center of the opera aberrations, right? Yeah. Whereas the others are kind of the, the aberrations flocking around Anuragi. So the fact that Anuragi is kind of that, I don't know if middle ground is quite the right wording, but that's the best I can come up with in this moment. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's the got the connection character. to the people. Yeah. He's got the connection to the aberrations, and ultimately, he's the one that the people who are trying to control the movements can't control, per se. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. Gaian can't control him. Ogi tries to manipulate him in order to get what she wants. There's lots of people trying to get Aragi to do things for them. Yeah. And, also, mm-hmm. I just remembered that at the end of Koi, um, they also tried to get rid of Kaiki. By hitting him over the head. We also yep. thought that Kaiki died. Did we learn who did that? I don't remember. No, we haven't. Yeah. We know that it was the kid who cursed Nadeko, and while he was doing it, he said, Ogi was right. This guy, this con man okay. showed up here at the start. Sure, 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 sure. So is Ogi with those people there that are working like simultaneous? Presumably. Uh, what, what do you, wouldn't Sirius <laughs> do that? <laughs> we don't know if Ogi is working with anybody else or it's literally just Ogi, who is yeah. this powerful being that we don't know, well, you know, what exactly My she is and what she does. My current is that Ogi is on her own kind of the same way Gaian is on her own. They still have mm-hmm. pawns, they still have, you know, people surrounding them, but ultimately it's them who matter. So yeah, then once again, what does Gaian achieve here by killing Araragi? They define the situation like a stalemate. The only yeah. way you could change a stalemate is for an outside force to come in or to remove the things that are causing the stalemate, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so her solution is remove the thing causing the stalemate. <laughs> well, it's interesting though, right? Because since we watched it in anime order, we also know that we see Aragi alive and well in Hana Monogatari, so what I mean, happens? I don't know that we truly know that. We don't know uh-huh. anything about Araragi from Hana, just that he's there and physical, I suppose. <laughs> Unless if it I will mean... is his ghost, because <laughs> Kamaru was also talking to a Numachi who wasn't exactly alive either. I also remember that at one point you did mention that Araragi's mom will come into play at one point. So maybe Araragi's <laughs> mom will have something to do with this. I never like, said no joke. That. It was it was Araragi's mom in a wig. Like, yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I think if I ever mentioned Aragi's mom, I was probably saying something along the lines of best MILF, I hope she shows up again. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember if she was saying anything about Aragi's Yeah, I don't, I don't either. I just remember that she was mentioned at one point, and I thought I should bring it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Maybe I will help out. Obviously, Aragi comes back in some way, shape, or form. I don't know if it's as human, I don't know if it's as vampire or ghost. Hachikuchi's always been kind of the guide for him to kind of help him get in the right headspace and figure out what he needs to do. So the fact that he's found himself with Hachikuchi again, I think she'll probably help him figure out where he needs to go to find the solution he needs to. Because that was always her role. Yeah, literally his guide in the afterlife. (laughs) <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering right now what's going to hap- happen with Shinobu because the two of them are connected and if one of them dies then Shinobu like, gets vampire powers back and if mm. Shinobu dies yeah, that's a Araragi good point. becomes human like what is going to happen on the outside because Shinobu also has left, like this great connection with Araragi Presumably, where the stalemate she wanted gets to... broken <laughs> so yeah if Aragi dies, what do you think happens to Shinobu in the real world here? I mean, I see that as definitely a possibility for what Gaian was aiming for is to bring... Because she mentioned how uh, she says her full name, which I don't remember. Yeah. But mm-hmm. <laughs> how she is kind of in that kind of pseudo state of not being her full aberration self. So it's yep. like, yeah, could and, uh... she have killed Aragi to return that, like, to re- make her the whole vampire, which would be on brand with most of the things we've seen surrounding Shinobu. But I mean, we did also assume that Gaian wanted to make Shinobu, uh, Shinobu into the god of the heavy shrine. This is a theory mm-hmm. that we had, yeah. She did so, also talk about like how there is no king. And then they looked at the mortal. shrine and we, yeah, we looked at Nariko. Because now mm-hmm. that there's nobody controlling this town or this particular air spot, 
things have just kind of died down. There's nothing going on anymore. There's nobody there to move things. So I do think it's most likely that she does want to use Shinobu in some way, shape, or form to break the stalemate. Mm -hmm. Makes the most sense. Given hey, I mean, the most actions. powerful being in the universe, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you and you should probably be able to achieve something. Her. <laughs> yeah. Where do you think Gaian got that sword? Because that sword is with Shinobu. Yeah, I think she pulled it out from between our ass cheeks. Good theory. No, that wasn't your question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did Shinobu have it? Shinobu was in the shadow, and yeah, she does have it with her. Because uh, that sword came up again when uh, Cheshiro was around. Yeah, when they, they fought Seishiro. I that was when Shinobu it threw it down. You can presume that Shinobu retrieved that. She just, you know, she wouldn't forget about yeah. it, I'm sure. But interesting that you mentioned that fight, because there was something that was missing from that fight, supposedly. Which was uh, some of the armor from Seishiro, which is what Oki yeah. was talking about. We also don't know specifically if that is the same sword. Uh -huh. It's a pretty nondescript, other than it's giant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yet could she have taken Seishiro's armor and reforged a new sword? Mm -hmm. Could she have somehow stolen it from Shinobu? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know that I have a good theory on that. Yeah. Maybe she made like a fake and then Shinobu took back the fake and she took the real one. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes fakes can be more real than the real thing. We learned this in Nisei. <laughs> and Kiwi is gone. Yeah, Rest and in Batman peace, is Kiwi. loud. <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of questions that I could ask to facilitate the discussion, but then it would straight up be leading. So yeah, that's that's pretty much all I can say. I've kind of reached the limits of my tired brain can theorize at the moment, unless you had more leading questions. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can't. Everything else that I could say here is just straight up spoiling. <laughs> yeah. There will most certainly be much more information about what exactly is going on in Owari Monogatari's second season. Owari yes. season two? Okay, okay. Yep, Owari season two. I will say that Owari season two, I believe, is the highest rated season of Monogatari. So yeah. That's well, exciting. It's something to look forward to, that's for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be able to do this again next week. Since I am moving, I'm not quite sure about that situation. But yeah, if you guys haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to know whenever that episode drops. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time.